क्रिकेट इज अज पैशन इन पाकिस्तान इट इफेक्ट्स एवरी वन इट्स अ ग्रेट यूनिफाइंग फोर्स बिकॉज इट कनेक्ट यंग एंड ओल्ड नॉर्थ एंड साउथ ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट एवरी वन इज इन्वॉल्व इन क्रिकेट एंड आई थिंक द फैक्ट दैट इट इज अ यूनिफाइंग फोर्स इट इज द वन फोर्स दैट एवरी वन लुक्स टू फॉर कम्फर्ट फॉर इंजॉयमेंट so the the place of cricket is very high among the people of pakistan we have been starved of cricket for the last 6 years because the incident that took place with the sri lankan team 2009 meant that we could not have cricket in front of our own crowds in pakistan because of this disadvantage we find that our cricketers are not playing before their own large crowds and the disadvantage tells in the performance of the team and that in turn uh, affects the morale of the nation and morale of the cricketers the visit of the zimbabwe team was therefore the first time in 6 years that any full member team has been able to visit pakistan it was therefore very welcome and it broke the spell of uh, famine cricketing famine in our country now the fact remains that uh, the credit for the zimbabwe team coming here goes first of all to the zimbabwe cricket team we had a meeting uh, this uh, this morning um, at the hotel we obviously took cognizance of the tremendous effort uh, the pakistani government and the pakistani cricket board have gone in order to ensure that uh, we are safe and uh, secure we are most grateful to them for having uh, done that uh, this time round the uh, pakistani security agencies the military the intelligence the civil police everybody put their shoulder to the task and it was an incredible performance uh, even the police and the pakistani administration say that it was unprecedented and the sops that they have worked out now after this experiment are going to stand them in good stead because uh, when future in the future when teams tour pakistan uh, there will be no security issues i can assure you of that from the moment that the team landed at lahore airport the uh, the amount of police and uh, other law enforcement agencies deployed uh for their uh for the movement on the route uh was just immaculately planned everything was uh, cordoned off um, there was aerial uh, surveillance all the time uh during the team's movement from one place to another and uh, there was presence of a very large number of um, you know, police and other law enforcement agencies not only in police uniforms but also uh in in civvies people went through every kind of hardship and misery to get here the weather was very hot the security is very tight but despite that no one minded no one minded and they came here in large numbers Zimbabwe was isolated 
and therefore we understand uh, the politics of isolation. We have therefore said no, isolation is not the right way in order for brothers to relate to one another. We must break the barriers that exist between us and in order for us to do so, we must interact. And I think it's a stepping stone uh, uh, for ICC and of course uh, for the other cricketing uh, playing nations that uh, everybody is watching very closely that Zimbabwe series and uh, Touchwood is going to go fine and then eventually the teams are going to travel to Pakistan and I, I would like ICC to be a bit more involved in sending teams to Pakistan. Life is such that uh, the seasons are not always the same. Sometimes you'll have summer and sometimes you'll have winter. So this happens to be at a time in, in Pakistan's life where security has to be a major cause of concern. But I'm sure like uh, everything that we experience, it will all come to an end and uh, you'll go back to, to enjoying cricket like you used to before. And that the arrangements that you've made for us um, are arrangements that are of a temporary nature. Uh, long after this has been done, I'm sure the stadiums will continue to fill you can never really kill the spirit of the human being and the spirit of the human being is such that for the things they value they'll do anything anything to uphold and uh, to hold on to and certainly the, the people of Pakistan love cricket cricket is a religion to them and uh, we are happy that in some small way we're aiding towards uh, uplifting and, 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 and bringing about some joy and I'm sure there are so many little kids uh, who, who are donning uh, the streets of Pakistan, who have not been able to see their heroes playing for so long. And if we can contribute in some small way to ensuring that they see their heroes alive and well, playing in their own nation, we are more than delighted to be doing that. It's our contribution to our brotherhood. Well, of course, the message we want to send out is loud and clear. Hey, guys, come to Pakistan. We're a good country. We're a hospitable people. We protect people. We will protect you. And we are acting against terrorism. This is unprecedented, too. For many years, it's true. We prevaricated. But last year, the government of Nawaz Sharif and the army chief put their shoulders to the task. And you could see the results that have come in. We have put in nearly 200,000 troops to get rid of this scourge of terrorism. And I promise you, by the time you consider coming to Pakistan next year, this country will be as safe as any other civilized country in the world.